So if you come into a new part and you select sheet metal, it'll open up a new part and it'll be in the sheet metal environment already. Uh, if you start a regular part, you can then convert it into a sheet metal part after the fact. So it's not a huge deal. Um, it's just easier to use the template from the start. So the area that you're going to want to control the actual thickness is going to be, here's the convert the standard part, but uh, the sheet metal defaults. So this is where it's controlled. And if you go to this little pencil here, it'll actually come in and show you all of the information. Um, here's the thickness. So if I change this to 0.25 and save and close. So if, let's say we go to our sketch. Let's create a 2D sketch. Just make a square. Uh, let's say from here at 6 by 2. And finish our sketch. So now that we have our shape, we can go to our sheet metal environment and use face. And then it'll automatically take the thickness for the face. Um, another way you could do it is if you do 3D model, you can extrude and call this thickness, and then it'll link that thickness value that the uh, parameter is set to. You can look at your f of x parameters, um, and it'll come in here. And these are all the sheet metal defaults that you can also change um, the other area, but here's the actual thickness at 0.25. So I think what you're basically asking is, let's say I have this part and I have a couple of flanges on it, like so, and say OK. I go, well, I want to change my sheet metal uh, you know, thickness. Go into here, click your little pencil, and then change this to 125, save and close, and it will update all of the thicknesses that you used from your sheet metal commands. Um, that's the easiest way to do it that I found. Um, you could just come up to here real quick. And it won't let you actually change it through the equation. Um, you actually have to go and change it through uh, the sheet metal defaults here. Uh, you can set up your own uh, through, you know, the thickness here um, and get your defaults and uh, just add a new uh, new style and call this one 0.25, let's say. And then this thickness you can change to 0.25. Save that. So if you wanted to you say, oh, I want to change this to the default or change this to 0.25, and you can see that the model updates in the background depending on what you do. So if you have a whole bunch that you use often, I'd recommend changing your sheet metal and getting all of the ones that you have. And make sure that your library is also read and write other than read only. Otherwise, you have to do it all over again and it won't write. Um, the area that you would do that in is actually in your projects. So from the very start and they get started, look at your project name. And then as far as that goes, you have all sorts of different stuff. But style library here, set that to read, write, uh, a couple of folder options, things like that. Um, this would be a good place to kind of uh, look and see how things are set up. Make sure all your workspaces are to the correct locations, things like that. So hope that helps.